Guys, you really gotta hit the subscribe button and like the, and, and the like button for this one because Alex really loved, like, wanted to do this video. This video is entirely Alex's idea. Um, and if you guys don't like and subscribe and, and comment on this video, Alex is gonna go into a deep swirl of depression. I'm not, no. Because I told them, it's okay. You liked it. You liked I liked it. it. I liked it. I liked it. What I'm saying is, is that, like, if you're an Alex guy, if you support Alex, you have to watch this video to its end and you got to comment and you got to subscribe. I know we say that in every video, but this one's really important for Alex's mental health. Let's start the video. First of all, this was recommended by the one and only Wayne Kerr. Yes. So shout out to Wayne Kerr for this recommendation. Say his this, name again one more time. Wayne Kerr. Okay, okay. You know, usually we react to videos, Carlos Alcaraz, best points, Novak Djokovic, 24 Grand Slam match points that he won. Sure. Crazy tennis racket smashes, freak outs. Yeah. This one's a little bit different. It's a more calm. It feels like a more calm. We're moving from video to text. Yep. And we're going to be looking at a, a thread, a Twitter thread of the funniest, oddest uh, tennis tweets. All right. Sent out by tennis players. All right, stop That's the plan. wasting my time and let's get into it, please. Okay. This thread is by Swish at ZWXSH. Okay. And like I said, they put together a collection of some of the funniest tennis Twitter moments. And I'm not sure how many are in this thread, but let's get into it. This one is a great one. So Stefanos, uh, Stefanos Tsitsipas, I like me better naked. I don't mean that in a vain way. When you put clothes on, you immediately put a character on. Clothes are adjectives. They are indicators. When you don't have any clothes on, it's just you raw and you can't hide. That's a lot. Yeah, and the photo too. This is the most Tsitsipas thing that you could possibly say. Really grinds my gears. Very much. So. It's so much because you know what the problem is? Can I tell you what the problem is? The pro and I don't know if you're going to keep this. But the problem is like it's so try hard. Yeah, it's you're, so you're, much. You're trying to be you're this trying philosopher. To be this philosopher, like, oh, like I'm actually very interesting, and I have a lot of interesting thoughts. And we're animals. We're all just animals. And God damn it, you hit tennis balls for a living. Okay. Yeah. That's what God's gift was to but, you. But you know what? So don't hit me with these these thoughts. Okay. And also, this is the other thing. Okay. Because, and I, I, I'm guilty of this. Everybody's guilty of this. A lot of the times we think that what's in our head is so important yeah. that it has to be out there. Yeah. Either in a tweet or a podcast like us. Yeah. Half the time. I mean, we're the kings of. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're, we're guilty of this like too. Like two guys getting on a mic yeah, I'm no, saying their thoughts. My friend. Is the king, my friend, is the pinnacle of what we, we think we're we saying We may is be worse than Tsitsipas. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is that half the time, in, in general, across all people, your thoughts aren't that interesting. Honestly, though, sometimes it's really funny. Like, this is kind of funny. Like, he means it seriously, which he, is, he means which it is dead seriously. a little scary. But it is kind of funny. And sometimes he is funny about it. Which is, you know, so I like the fact that he wrote this. This is, I'm a fan of this because it's entertaining and yeah. it's, 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 it's. Can I, can I be honest with you? Yeah. If there's, if you think of Tsitsipas, and again, everybody's good at their own thing. If you think of Tsitsipas and you have a long list of words that come to, to my head yeah. about how to describe Tsitsipas, funny is, so here's like weird. Yeah. Okay. Here's yeah. weird. Yeah. Funny is way the f down. Down. <laughs> Did Roger Federer use coronavirus to prevent Novak Djokovic from breaking his record? <laughs> I mean, that's like if if you you have conspiracy theorist, and, and then you have that this guy, <laughs> and then you have this There's guy conspiracy theorist, and then you have that guy. Yeah, this guy or it's I think it's a woman actually, Christina NCL. She thinks that uh, Roger Federer used coronavirus and caused. I I don't know if she says he caused it, but used it somehow. Even though it was Novak's choice to not get vaccinated, right? Novak but, but decided. No, but besides that, did Roger win any Grand Slams during COVID? No. It was no. That, no, it was 2017. So what did, or 2000, yeah, 2017 was So what did he do? And Novak still beat his record. Yeah. What? Yeah, this, people are very confused. What, what is going on? Next one, Rafael Nadal. At Ana Ivanovich, welcome to this mean of communication Looking forward to exchanging tweets with you. And then Anna Ivanovich responds and replies to this tweet. Goes, at Raphael, thanks, Rafa, but why so formal? Ha ha. Okay, so Rafa's clearly joking, right? No, 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 that's serious. No way. 
That's 100% serious. There's no, dude, I don't care what language barrier you got. There's no way that's actually. This is a very rough and adult thing to do. I think it's a joke. No. I think there's an inside joke there somewhere that, that people can't understand. I don't think it's an inside joke because she's like, why are you being so formal, dude? I think, I think he, this was when? This was August 23rd, 2013. His English, not amazing. So in 2013. He, 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 that's a Google Translate. That's a Google plugin. Translate. I'm going to be formal because it's rough and He's very careful. He's very, you know, respectful. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it was a little bit over the top um, in terms of how formal it was. But yeah. th- I think that's authentic rough and adult. I think, uh, yeah. I yeah. think this is how we should be communicating. I guess. <laughs> uh, Andy Murray, what are the toughest sports out there? Boxing and UFC are right up there for sure. And I'm not saying tennis is the toughest, but it's up near the top. Liam Brody responds, tennis, nowhere near the top. Pretty much all martial arts go ahead, then contact sports, then most athletic events. <laughs> Andy Murray responds, at level you play at, I agree. Club slash amateur tennis, not near the top. Yeah, yeah that's really <laughs> that- funny is phenomenal can i tell you something can i tell you something it's murray is hilarious because in a press conference in any situation like if there's least funny guy it's andy murray in terms of how he is expression wise yeah yeah like in terms of like delivery of a joke no but he's dry wait 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 but this is the funny part as you get that man behind the keyboard yeah and it's and the guy doesn't miss. Yeah, he doesn't. The guy doesn't miss behind a keyboard. But I, I also think that his, recently especially, his dry persona, like he's been showing more of the humor side, that's the comedic true. side. That's true. And he's got dry sense of humor. It's phenomenal. That, I mean, that's objectively very funny. It is funny. Um, so great, great tweet there. I'm, I'm honestly Murray. surprised that there's not more Murray ones in here. Well, there, there might is. be. We're not, we're not even, we're not done yet. Emma Raducanu writes, heart, emoji and the like pray emoji and writes at Carlos Alcaraz yours and that was responding to Carlos Alcaraz during his interview I want to dedicate this day to Emma Raducanu who had surgery today I wish her very very speedy recovery she doesn't deserve any of this I wish she comes back fast on court and maybe play some mixed doubles I always wanted that he said that yeah really and she is that like him shooting his shot I guess I don't know who knows? Does Alcaraz have a crush on Raducanu? Alcaraz is a little bit crazy. Do you think? I can see it. I don't know about that, but I, I remember when you said Alcaraz wasn't a club guy yeah. a couple video go- videos ago. I don't think he's a club guy. Have you seen that video that I sent you after French Open? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's a club guy. Yeah. This guy is, he right. loves to go out. Yeah. He's a big sober club guy. <laughs> he's a He's a big, he loves. He's a big sober club guy and he loves to dance. Sober club guy and dancing with dudes, yeah. just dudes. He loves it. He lives for that. But right. I think, I think, uh, Carlos, uh, this is kind of him shooting a shot, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I could, see and that. I can see it. I could so see him having a little crush on Raducanu. I like tennis relationships. I like Sinner and uh, what's her name? Um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. <laughs> Kalinska. You know who I think is cute? Who? Um, Demi Noir and his girlfriend. Yeah, Katie Bolter. Katie Bolter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're great. They, but they're like long-term. But they're also kind of robotic. They're not robotic. They've just been in a relationship for a while. And so I feel like they're not like... No, they're like... They're a little robotic. Dude, you've probably seen one video of them when there was a camera shoved in their face. No, there's been plenty of videos. I haven't brought... Let, let me, let me put a, a video in front of you and let's see how non-robotic I, you okay, are. Okay, fine. Let me take that back. I won't say robotic. They're just shy. They are shy. Which yeah, of course. Sweet. Rightfully so. Um, but yeah, this might be Carl Zagras being uh, Emma. <laughs> Who knows? Um, okay, next one. No Ruben. No Ruben. Shout out No Ruben, dude. He's yeah, on the shout podcast. Out, shout out No Ruben. He was on the podcast. No Ruben tweets, final results are in. Greatest of all time, Joko. Most dominant, Nadal. Best tennis player, Federer. As much as it doesn't make sense, it also does. Christopher Eubanks responds, I really wish you'd stop talking tennis. <laughs> and then Noah responds, I really wish you had calves, but we can't always get what we want. That's great. That's awesome. They, they need more of this in tennis. Yeah. They need more of this in tennis. Like this is amazing. Side note, his tweet actually makes sense to me. Yeah, it does make sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. It 100% makes sense. So I think that was a good tweet by Noah. Yeah. Alex, I'm stopping the tweets for a second. 
Okay, it's a lot of reading. It's a lot. Right? Reading is not my forte. You know this. I do. Okay, so I need my uh, I need my mental performance shot to to get me back into the zone. I need Magic Mind. They are also the sponsor of this video, so this is the perfect time to mention them. And you you just did the challenge. You just did the seven day challenge, right? Listen, I I did just do the seven day Magic Mind challenge. Um, first of all, I liked it because I wake up in the morning. I walk over to the fridge, I take the magic mind, I drink the magic mind, I feel good, it's routine, yeah. it's, you know, it's, a, it's just, just a way to start my day. Yeah. Now, I happen to take magic mind while editing our last video, the pickleball video, yep. and that's when I was doing the seven day challenge, and it was a lot of editing, it was a lot of work. That video happened to be our most successful video ever. Now, am I saying it was because I was drinking magic mind? Honestly, I don't know, but I can tell you what, I sure as hell am now drinking Magic Mind every time I'm editing an important video. So you're going to refuse to edit? I refuse. You refuse to edit without Magic Mind? I refuse, and you're buying it. Um, okay, so, so, so let me get this straight. So we, I come up with a great idea. Yeah. Okay, I come up with a great idea. I say, Alex, we got to film this, all right? But we just ran out of Magic Mind. You're I not- say, I say, Steven, I quit. <laughs> You're quitting the podcast. I quit. I say, Steven, count me out. Sell. Yeah. Guys, uh, Magic Mind is their sponsor. We love them. It's the best uh, mental performance shot out there. Um, if you want to try it, will you get a discount using code JUSTLAP20? So use it. You're welcome. And uh, let's, let's, let's get back going to the reading. with the tweets and yeah. the reading and the reacting. Yeah. Because so far, I'm not that impressed. Uh, next one, Holger Runa. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This is just this is awesome. so Holger. This is a great no. If but I this could, is great. if I could, if I could explain Holger Runa, it's this in thing. one yeah. tweet. It's yeah. this tweet. Yeah, you're right. HB Tour writes, "May the force be with you at Yannick Sinner," and it was during the Rolex Masters. And it's a point that they play a <laughs> highlight point, a great point. Holger Runa, Holger Runa responds, "Meaning what at HB Tour dot 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 question mark." Not that you gave me the best conditions in the first place, having to play two matches the day before ending late, comma, leaving almost no recovery time, chair umpire making crucial mistakes and giving wrong warning that disturbed the game. May the force be with you. Roll like rolling the eyes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's great. It's a fantastic tour. Uh, just get over because, it. Because also, it also makes no sense. Yeah, like I, what? What is it? Like, like why are you? Sh why are you? Why are you cheering on one player? I guess maybe it's a point against Holger. Maybe that's why. Yeah, it's, it's not super salty, clear. But I love the Jesus Christ at the end. The Jesus Christ is it's it's not a Jesus Christ. It's Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah, it's yeah. that. It's yeah. that one. Um, so that's a phenomenal tweet by Holger there. Okay, Marty Fish. What exactly do I need to be better at, Pavi? Super cute. Wait, you're reading. You're reading the. You, you got to read it from the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, I got to read it from the bottom. Right? I got. That's how tweets work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. have Twitter. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, so Pavi G. Whoa. Responds, yeah, bad. <laughs> uh, so the next tweet, Pavi G. Pavi G. Writes, if you have any idea of the mental and physical turmoil that Novak and Yelena are going through right now, you wouldn't even need to ask. I'm in regular contact. It's a shame. I've always held you with the greatest respect in the past. Yeah, and then read the bottom. And Marty Fish writes, oh, wait. Marty Fish then responds to that, I think. I think this is how it went. Marty Fish responds to that, what exactly do I need to be better at, Pavi? Super curious. Sorry. Oh, you f me. <laughs> I just said that. You f me. <laughs> I told you I don't have two. So see how this works? Yeah, it's the opposite. You me i go i'm so stupid how could i dare i do that and then he f me you're right okay let me do that again yeah we do it again marty fish writes what exactly do i need to be better at pavi super curious and then like a eyes up emoji and i guess pavi wrote something above that we don't see pavi writes if you have any idea of the mental and physical turmoil that novak and yelena are going through right now you wouldn't even need to ask i'm in re i'm in regular contact it's a shame i've always held you with the greatest of respect in the past and then marty fish responds just talk to novak he said he doesn't know who you are that's amazing <laughs> that's so great and you know those are the best comebacks yeah short to the point yeah 
Total destruction. Yeah, complete. That's a complete destruction. Yeah. And also, like, Pavi, we all know you're not in frequent contact. With- yeah, like, let's, let's cut that out. Let's cut it out. Let's cut that out. Okay. At Andy Murray, what's the correct way to pronounce your surname? <laughs> and Andy Murray writes, at Shazizzle Murray. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Yeah, he just name. types his he name. He just though. types his name. Again, you know. Well, but you know what's yeah. funny? You know what's funny about that is behind the, the keyboard, Murray's cracking up at that. Yeah. That's Murray's humor. Yeah. Murray is cracking up typing his name and it's like, you, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I do know. I do know what you mean. Do you though? Because it, it seems like you want to skip over what I'm trying to say here. And get to the next one. No, I get, I get it. He thought he was really funny. He thought he was a really funny guy by just typing out his name. By not saying, or by not typing it out how it's like pronounced. Yeah. He's very funny. He thought he was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jose Margado, who's a famous tennis journalist, yep. writes, Serena Williams plays two great sets, comes back from a set and breakdown to beat uh, uh, Svetlana Pironkova. 4 6, 6 3, 6 2, and reach a 14th US Open semifinal. 39th Grand Slam semifinal as well. What a run Svedi had. Williams versus Azarenka or Mertens tomorrow. And then it's an image of Serena. And then Kelly responds, kind of sexist, with saying she had a breakdown. Do you talk about men athletes in this manner? So she was a breakdown. She was a breakdown, and this woman perceived or thought that he was saying she had a breakdown. <clears throat> And the, the, the photo, just so you understand, yeah, yeah. is her like celebrating yeah. a point. Yeah. But I can totally see. It looks like she's having a breakdown. <laughs> it looks like she's having a breakdown. <laughs> so that's really good. Um, another Andy Murray one. Okay, great. Another Andy me. Murray one. Give it to me. Andy Murray tweets, me with a very calm looking falcon. And it's just this picture. <laughs> see, like that. Like that's funny. So, but that's Andy Murray humor. And then he writes Rafa with the same falcon. <laughs> and it's a picture of the falcon freaking out and a picture of Rafa just being like, what the hell's going on? All right. I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's why you dragged me to Brooklyn today. That's it. That's all I got for you. That was the thread. Right. There were some great ones in there. There were some good ones. There were some good ones. There were some good ones. Uh, I think there's better ones out there. There have to be. But I... You but you know what? You were lazy. Time. You were lazy. You didn't do the research to find the best. This was the best. These were the best ones. These were solid at best. No, there were some good ones. There were some good ones. Some Andy Murray ones were great. Uh, the no the Fabio. Chris Eubanks. No Fabio. But Fabio doesn't tweet. How do you know? Fabio does not tweet. Is Fabio not a Twitter guy? He's. Come on. You don't think Fabio? so? Fabio? Right? No. No. Okay. Fabio has got too much going on. For Twitter. That's true. So yeah, a little bit different today. A little bit different. Reacting yeah. to Twitter, reacting to tweets. This is, you know what? I enjoyed the change of pace. Yeah, it's change of pace. It's not a video. Ne- we'll, next reacts, we'll do a video because there's more videos, ten- funny tennis videos, yeah. you know, crazy tennis but videos But I like when you read it out. Y- you like it, don't I you? I like it. I like when you read and it And I bet you like it when I stumble a bit. Yeah. You like Yeah, you're, yeah. You're yeah. a big... And you, big. Like, and you like to correct me and then be wrong about it. <laughs>